Hey, this is Chris and I'm going to answer a common question that we're getting from clients at the moment, which is what should I be doing with my extra savings at the moment now that interest rates are increasing? Should I be putting more in my mortgage offset account or should I still be investing? And it's a good question because when interest rates are very low, I think for a lot of people it was a, an easier decision to invest those extra savings. You're not giving up a lot. There isn't a lot of opportunity cost not having it in that mortgage offset account. You know, these days mortgage rates are increasing pretty rapidly. Um, for a lot of people, I know they're already in the range of you know, 4%, 5%, you know, maybe even 6%. And so that's the benchmark or that's the minimum really you need to be able to earn in an investment account in order to justify not having it in your offset account. And actually to account for tax, you need to earn a little bit more. Um, so what I would say is if you've got a more expensive mortgage, um, you know, closer to five or six percent, you know, it is a bit more of a difficult decision and probably you're going to be tempted to have a bit more in that offset account at the moment because the opportunity cost is quite high. You know, you're going to need to cover that five or six percent interest per year already. Um, however, if you've got a, a lower price mortgage, you know, you've got a bit more flexibility to be thinking about investing. You know, there are a few other considerations, which is that overall across the overall market cycle, you would still expect a diversified portfolio, you know, predominantly in Australian and global shares to earn a better return um, than a mortgage interest rate. Um, and so, you know, if you do have a long time horizon, it still might make sense to diversify and have some shares. And also from your own personal asset perspective, it's a good idea over the long run to have a mix of different assets in your portfolio. So only just having one property and, and a mortgage, you know, is a pretty concentrated way of, of um, deploying your personal assets. So having diversification um, so you can earn returns from different asset classes is a good thing. Um, you know, however, it is something to be cautious about at the moment with interest rates being higher. You know, I would be suggesting for a lot of people making sure that at least you've got a good buffer on your mortgage is, is important. You know, I'd be thinking something like six to 12 months if possible, um, so that if um, interest rates do keep on rising, you've got a bit of flexibility to do um, other things with your money in the future. Now, obviously this is something that is very dependent on your own personal circumstances. So I would absolutely recommend, um, you know, speaking to a financial advisor or at least having a conversation with your partner or anyone else in this decision um, to make sure it's the right one for you. Um, but, you know, in the long run, um, you know, diversifying across other investments outside of property, I think still makes sense regardless of the interest rate environment.